My name is Michael Yan, and I'm a small farm animal sheep herder. Yeah. No, I'm, <laughs> I'm uh, the PDF evangelist, as a lot of people know who I am from that perspective. And back in the day, when PDF was just P, postscript, um, I spent a lot of time in the pre-press industry helping our customers figure out how to exchange data, designs, files with our pre-press company. We printed Gravure and Heat Set Offset. I think it's a couple different things. Uh, we've got the much smarter people in the industry, much better technology than 20 years ago. Has it gotten any simpler? No, it hasn't. And it's because, uh, you know, anyone can create a, a, a color document and ask it to be printed. If we counted in the le next 10 seconds how many PDFs were made, probably 90% of them were made from Word. It's a, it's a small group of people uh, who worry about color fidelity. Well, I work in my boxers at home. Bad picture, right? So the idea is that I'm a consultant, and uh, it depends on what I'm doing and you know, whether I'm going to Europe or if I'm going to cross the street. You know, whoever will pay me to do anything. I shoveled someone's snow the other day you know, when I was in Buffalo. No, seriously, I, I'm a consultant, and I do all sorts of different types of things, mainly in the print vertical uh, for printing, pre-press, that sort of thing. Usually I, I show up um, with my laptop, but really uh, the first time you do any kind of consulting is you've got to use what they have. So uh, I, I'd say the tools I have are, you know, the, the rocks in my noggin. Uh, it, it's, it's a lot of listening and, uh, and then trying to say, okay, how do we fix this problem? Well, the, the topic, I believe, is what color is your cheese doodle? And I guess the idea is that there's a scenario where somebody says, hey, uh, I want my new logo to be Cheeto orange. You know that. Where do you start? I mean, there's, you can't pick Cheeto in Photoshop. I mean, unless you happen to have, I don't know, like a maybe a Cheeto in your pocket, like I always do. I don't know about you, but uh, the the idea is that well, how what color is this thing? And if you think about it, if it's lit the way we have it here in camera, you see there's highlights and there's all sorts of different colors in this this Cheeto. So you might go, well, if I had a Cheeto bag, that would help. So you could then actually either send this bag or you could tell the guy, hey, go out and, you know, to the designer, go to the store and buy a bag of Cheetos. Well, that's kind of crazy, right? So the idea would be then is to measure. Just like you'd say, well, I need something that's eight inches. You need a tape measure. Well, they've got this new kind of tape measure. It looks like a tape measure, doesn't it? It really is a measuring device. It's a color ruler. This one happens to be uh, by x right Here, I had it upside down. Sorry. Oh, my God. There goes my commission check, right? So, no, here the reality is that we, we've got this thing called the Color Monkey, and you can take this and put it on your monitor. It has a little holder and calibrate your monitor, and you can measure things so you can figure out what color it really is. It's a spectrophotometer. It's a, it's a really good instrument. And then um, and you can measure your print device and, and calibrate everything. So it's one of the tools. It's the, it's the tape measure for color. $400 versus $30,000. <laughs> That's a big difference. No, no, we're done. Yeah. Oh. Cut. <laughs> I didn't think I'd be alive at this age of my life. Um, I went to school for medical illustration. Uh, I went uh, through a program where we actually would go into surgery and do step-by-step -step illustration. Boy, they really messed up yeah. my color in this illustration. What happened? So I really became incensed as an artist. Like, why can't you reproduce color? So that kind of sucked me in. I never got out. I just got sucked into the printing industry. And then, then, then I got kind of good at it and argued about PDF. And Agfa saw me and said, we need a PDF guy. And then, so then suddenly I was the PDF evangelist. I mean, if you Google PDF evangelist, you still, I'm the top 10 hits. It's, it's ridiculous. I'm Goofy, like big, like that was a, a fat one down the middle, you know. <laughs>